Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, before all, I would like to apologize for my bad English. I'm a French-speaking person. I'm now in the National Archives of Senegal, including the federal records of the former government of French colonies in West Africa, which Dakar was the headquarters. These archives are scribed to the International Register. My presentation consists on an introduction and three parts, which are the genesis and structuring of ACMOV, the objectives and missions of ACMOVs, and the ACMOVs short term project. In introduction, I will say that the companion of the International Register defines the document as an object comprising analog or digital informational content and the carrier on which it resides. It is preservable, usable, and usually uh, movable. The content may comprise signs or codes, such as text, images, still or moving, and sounds, which can be copied or migrated. The carrier may have important aesthetic, cultural, or technical qualities. The relationship between content and carrier may be incidental or integral. It provides the means of understanding social, political, collective, as well pers as, well as personal history. It can help to underpin good governance and sustainable development. For each country, documentary heritage reflects its memory and identity, and thus contributes to determine, to, deter, to determine its place in the global community. This heritage must be preserved to make more permanently accessible by everyone without hindrance and transmissible under the best conditions to uh, future generation. Preservation consists of a set of sustainable princi principles, strategies, and activities aimed at guaranteeing the physical and or technological integrity of documentary heritage, indefinitely prolong prolonging its life and protecting its intellectual content. Thus, preservation includes, among other activities, description, preventive conservation. Description is a written account of the context, history, and attributes of a document, their intellectual content, and their relationship to other documents. Preventive uh, conservation involves activities to repair or prevent damage, such restoration, binding, microfilming, digitizing. The memory, an essential part, an essential part of the cultural heritage, is very fragile because it is subject to vicissitudes of time bad weather, pets, and everyday life. In the countries of our region, Africa, these phenomena arise 
with great acuity uh, and are accentuated by the consequences of un, uh, our unfavorable economic condition. A restrictive clima climatic environment and our often difficult report to the document given the oral nature of most of our cultures. The documentary holdings, in particular, written document and audiovisual document kept in our archives and library are of often in a state of degradation or even decay. The National Archives on, uh, of Senegal is, typical, is a typical uh, example of this situation. Aware the, fun the fundamental value of this document for the universal co collective memory and the threats to which they face, the Director General of UNESCO, Mr. Federico Mayor, convened a group of experts in Warsaw, in Poland, in 1992 to reflect on the creation of the Memory of the World program, to purpose of which is to protect the irrepressible treasures of libraries and archival collections. The program was launched in the same year with the establishment of the prestigious International Memory of the World Register at its culmination. The spirit given to the Memory of the World program by UNESCO stems from the principle that documentary heritage of the world is the property of all humanity and that for, us, for this it should be fully preserved and protected, accessible to permanently and valued for all without hindrance while respecting the particular particularities, specificities and cultural practices associated with it. This important program has mainly a threefold mission. First, the program must help facilitate the identification and conservation of the world's documentary heritage by using the most appropriate technical training and communication means. Thus, it helps uh, prevent humanity from falling into partial amnesia. Secondly, the program must help ensure universal access to documentary heritage without restriction, but respecting the cultural sensitivities and the legislation in force at national, regional, and international levels. The third main mission of the program is to sensitize by all the media means at its disposal decision makers, documentary informational, uh, information professionals, researchers, academics, and, society, and civil society around the world on the existence and primary interest of documentary heritage for uh, the memory of humanity. To achieve these objectives, the, memory, the program relies on an operational mechanism comprising the unit, the unit for uh, documentary heritage at UNESCO headquarters in Paris, the International Memory of the World Register, the Gigi Prize, the regional and national registers, the International Advisory Committee, the regional committees, the national committees, and uh, the UNESCO International Center for Documentary Heritage 
in Korea. The program is always based on the main texts that are the UNESCO recommendation of 2015 concerning the preservation and the accessibility of documentary heritage, including digital heritage. The guidelines, the statutes of the International Advisory Committee and the Companion of the Register. These texts are uh, reorganized during the comprehensive review of the Memory of the World program and adopted by the UNESCO Executive Board at its 211 session of April uh, this year. The African Regional Committee Memory of, Memory of the Memory of the World program, ARCMOV, like the two others, MOCAP and MOLAC, is part of this operational mechanism of the Memory of the World program. ARCMOV consists of African countries other uh, than those of North Africa that belong to the electoral group of Arab states. ARCMOV complies with the provisions of the text governing the Memory of the World program, in particular, the UNESCO recommendation 2015. The general guidelines and the uh, co companion of the International Register uh, of Memory of the World program. Genesis and structuring of ACMOV. On the sidelines of the eighth meeting of the International Advisory Committee held in Swani, Pretoria, in South Africa, from 11 to uh, 15 June 2007, African participants organized a general assembly at which they adopted the Chuani Declaration. In attendance of this meeting were representatives from Ethiopia, Kenya, Malawi, Namibia, Senegal, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. The Chuani Declaration put the African Regional Committee Memory of the World, ACMOV, on the baptismal front. Its particular recommending uh, its creation. South Africa organized and hosted in Pretoria on January 30 and 31, uh, 2008, the founding meeting of ACMOV, fully supported by it. At the end of the, this meeting, a bureau was elected, which consists of following. Presidents, Presidency, South Africa, vice presidencies, Kenya, Mozambique, Senegal. Secretar uh, General Secretariat, Namibia. A third meeting organized by the National Committee Memory of the World uh, of Namibia was held in Windhoek from uh, 18 to 20, uh, 2008 and brought together the member of the ARCMOV Bureau. Since this meeting, ARCMOV fell into lethargy and did not carry out any further activities until 2018. Building on the regional consist, uh, consultations for the implementation of the uh, 2015 recommendation in Abuja in June uh, uh, 2018, under the auspices of UNESCO, participants represented, representing 
almost all African states organized a meeting to revitalize ARCMOV. It should be noted that the Abuja meeting generated a consensual action plan for the implementation of the UNESCO recommendation of 2015. It is an action plan that national committees and ARCMOV must lay out. The action plan is structured around five issues. Identification, preservation, access, nature for preservation and access, international cooperation. During this meeting, an executive board was elected. It was South Africa, Senegal, Zambia, Mauritius, Uganda, Benin, Republic of Congo, Gabon, Kenya, and a member of the Union African uh, Technical Team for Agenda 2063. Unfortunately, however, this bureau was unable to meet and start the Abuja uh, action plan. With the assistance of the unit of documentary heritage at UNESCO in Paris, the UNESCO regional office in Dakar, and the Senegalese National Commission for UNESCO, ARCMOV was able to hold a series of consultations online for a new start of uh, ARCMOV. On May 26, 27, and 28, 2021. These consultations resulted in the revision of the basic text of ARCMOV, which structures the regional committee and the election of an executive committee for four years. ACMOV is uh, currently strict as follows. National Memory of the World Committees of Member States of the African region, each represented with designated delegates from four years. It comprises also the ACMOV Executive Committee and the head of national memories uh, institution in Africa. The ACMOV General Assembly elects the nine members of the Executive Committee for Protecting Mandate according to the African sub-regions for four years, responsible for planning, organization, and implementation and monitoring of the word approved by the ARCMOV General Assembly. The Executive Committee meets twice a year. The Executive Committee is thus constituted by a president, one vice president for finance and marketing, one vice president for communication and information, one vice president for training and registers, one secretary general, one reporters, and three members. The text thus revised also identifies the crucial issue for African documentary heritage and defines and defines the uh, mission of ACMOVs. Part two, the objectives and missions of ACMOV. As objectives, ACMOV must carry out awareness raising acti uh, activities in the African region on the memory of the world program and the documentary heritage of Africa. Encourage the creation 
of National Memory of the World Committee, Frost Africa, helping implement the work of the national committees, promote, facilitate, and monitor the Memory of the World program in Africa, represent Africa in international level, plan a regional memory of the world and determine the selection and registration criteria, encourage member states to nominate uh, uh, meritorious or unprecedented facts for the preservation and accessibility of documentary heritage for award to the UNESCO JGG Prize. Encourage a good representation of documentary heritage of Africa in the International Memory of the World Register. To achieve the, these objectives, ARCMOV, ARCMOV's mission are as follows. Raising awareness on the important, in the importance of documentary heritage, including digital heritage. Contributing to its identification and preservation, allowing its accessibility, encouraging states to adopt coherent and adapted public policies for the preservation of their documentary heritage, developing a cooperation between states, promoting the sharing of resources, examples of good practice in terms of preservation, accessibility of documentary heritage, and optimal use of the resources in the African region. Mobilizing political, economic, social, and cultural support for the Memory of the World program within the structures of the African Union with uh, sub-regional, regional, and international institutions. Encouraging and supporting transnational applications relating to shared uh, documentary heritage. Encouraging and supporting collaborative projects and links on shared heritage and other valued, valuable shared collection. Encouraging the use of common shared uh, heritages or moved related collections between various countries or region and in the world. Facilita facilitating the creation of national committees memory of the world and the establishment of memory of the world national registers. Creating and managing the African regional uh, register of memory of the world relating to the documentary heritage. Identifying the selection criteria, taking into account the governing, the uh, memory of the world program and any other matter determined by the memory of the world program. Mobilizing the resources and supporting the Memory of the World project and the activities in the African region, facilitating the integration of the heritage into all national polities and program, paying particular attention to its in inclusion in the formal school curriculum at all levels of education. Part three, ACMOV's projects. For the achievement of its objectives and the implementation of the Abuja plan, and consequently the implementation of the 2015 UNESCO recommendation, ACMOV has 
developed short, medium, and long-term projects. In the context of this presentation, I will limit to evoking the short-term projects. They are, first, to set the regional register quickly so that the first registrations can be made in the next three years. Secondly, to create a new letter. Third, to take stock of the slate of the national committees and lead a company to create more uh, committees. It is also to identify a fundraising strategy at national, sub-regional, regional, international, and multilateral levels. To ask the national committee to take steps with the competent national authorities for documentary heritage in each country to reporting on the state of implementation of the 2015 recommendation. One uh, objective also is to develop a regional approach for rehabil rehabilitation, collection, preservation, accessibility, and enhancement of our oral archives. To conclude, our ambition is to meet the challenge of making ArcMove active after its renewal, the commitment of the success of our mission is a reality, and we dare to think that nothing will be the same again. In addition, we need to have the means to fight. That is to say that we have to have uh, resources available first and more for, more, uh, foremost from our own efforts at the national and regional levels. We must rely on our own effort to generate and raise essential funds for proper functioning. We must also count on the support of uh, MOCAP and MOLAG, who have much experience uh, and resources than the fledgling, the fledgling ACMOVE, as uh, well as institutes such as the UNESCO International Center for Documentary Heritage. It is in this light of all this that we will be able to bring ACMOVE to an acceptable high compared to its analogous committees for the greater good for African documentary heritage, better preserved, more accessible, and valued. Thank you for your kind attention. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, thank you for inviting me to participate in this important webinar. It is my great honor to have this opportunity to introduce some of the activities of the Memory Award for Asia Pacific. My name is Kim Kuibe. I'm the chair of MOCAP and also an Assistant Secretary General at the Korean National Commission for UNESCO. My presentation will consist of three parts. I will start by speaking a bit about the background of MOCAP. I will then cover MOCAP's organizational structure and then talk about some of our recent activities. 
MOW Regional Committee, uh, plays an important role in the preservation of documentary heritage, helping to promote activities within the institutional framework of UNESCO Memory of the World program. There are currently three uh, regional committees, MOLEC in Latin America and Caribbean, ECMO in the African region, and MOCAP in the Asia Pacific region. MOCAP is recognized as being the most active regional committee. As you may be aware, 60% of the total uh, global population of nearly 8 billion people per, uh, reside in the Asia Pacific region, which is a home to abundant and diverse cultural heritage, including oral traditions, performing arts, festivals, costumes, handicrafts, and food culture. From Mongolia in the northeast to New Zealand in the southwest, there are 46 countries in the, in the Asia Pacific region, which covers about half the Earth's surface. With more than 70 ethnic cities and 260 languages, this region is the birthplace of many ancient civilizations and also retains a wide variety of documentary heritage, produced over the course of the development of its diverse cultures and traditions. The region's documentary heritage various forms, from manuscripts and wood blocks to photographs, stones, inscriptions, sound records, and films. There are, however, a number of challenges for documentary heritage in the Asia Pacific region. As in other regions, many countries in Asia Pacific face difficulties in preserving their heritage because of a lack of budget and technological capacities. Technological and financial difficulties also make it harder for many countries in the region to provide access to uh, their collections. With the digitization of documentary heritage and adoption of new technologies being costly and requiring extensive training and equipment. The situation is further worsened by the tropical climate in much of the region, which poses preservation challenges to many types of documentary heritage, particularly our audiovisual records. The regional geographical location also means it is prone to variety of natural disasters, including typhoons, earthquakes, and tsunamis. In addition, climate change is a serious threat to small islands in the, in the past region. Therefore, we urgently need to establish a systematic regional disaster management scheme to allow us to respond effectively to new threats. Such a scheme must cover pre prevention mitigation, preparedness, respond and recovery UNESCO initiatives, such as recommendation on documentary heritage and memory world program, have a crucial role to play in establishing this framework, especially in facilitating national and regional cooperation. The memory world Programs regional committee are an effective tool for strengthening the sort of the international cooperation needed to come up, overcome the challenges I have just about, uh, just spoken about. So I will tell you about something about the structure, functions, and activities of as a Pacific regional committee. Memory World Committee for Asia and the Pacific called MOCAP for short, 
was founded in 1998 in Beijing, China, and currently operates in 46 member states in the Asia Pacific region. The membership of MOCAP is composed of representatives from the UNESCO national committees in member states in the Asia Pacific region. A national uh, MOW committee may be a freestanding committee, but could also be a subcommittee of the National Commission for UNESCO in a member states. An obligation of membership is the submission of an annual report. As of 2021, 21 out of the 46 member states in the ASA Pacific region have actively MOW national committees. A number of others are in the process of formulation, and we expect that more MOW national committees will be established, something that we at MOCAP will do our best to support. As you see, MOCAP has its own status. These provide the framework for the work of the committee. The status defined MOCAP's ob objectives in terms of reference, membership, uh, sessions, voting, the quorum for meetings, and the makeup of its bureau, which is responsible for managing MOCAP's activities. Currently, a working group has been formed to complete a review of the MOCAP status in accordance with a larger review of the UNESCO's MOW program as a whole. The general meeting convened every two years set the polic policies and activities of MOCAP. It is attended by all MOCAP's members. It makes decisions on programs submitted to do it by the Bureau and also elects members of the MOCAP Bureau. General meeting is a crucial part of MOCAP's work and is a forum for cooperation and dialogue between national and multiple committees and experts. The host of the meeting is rotated among countries in the Asia Pacific every two years. The ACE MOCAP General Meeting, the most recent to be held, took place in May 2018 and was attended by 27 countries from the coast of Asia Pacific, making it largest gathering in the MOCAP's history. MOCAP elects a chairperson and one or more vice chairpersons. Currently, there are three vice chairpersons and a secretary general who together form the bureau. The MOCAP Bureau is responsible for the planning, organizing, implementing, and monitoring of the work program approved by the general meeting of MOCAP. The signed UNESCO regional uh, advisor, UNESCO Bangkok office, is an ex-official member of the Bureau. This enables a close link with the UNESCO and the uh, MOCAP regular programs. Bureau members are normally, normally elected for a term of four years. The Bureau normally meets once a year. MOCAP has traditionally have been supported by UNESCO via the budget of the UNESCO office in Bangkok. Funds have been predominantly used for cost of the 
general meetings, such as bring delegates from the developing country to the meeting. Since 2015, a new strategic partnership has been uh, formed with Asia Culture Center in the Republic of Korea, which has enabled MOCAP to increase its activities. MOCAP's cooperation agreement with the Asia Culture Center led to the establishment of uh, MOCAP office in the Asia Culture Center in 2015. The Asia Culture Center partnership provides an annual financial and human resources support amounting to 90,000 US dollars to MOCAP for activities, project, office functions, and so on. This partnership is an important example of the innovative project and partnership MOCAP undertakes in order to support our members in preserving documentary heritage in the region. The Asia Pacific region has engaged actively with the UNESCO Memory World Program with many items of documentary heritage from the region being inscribed on the program's international, regional, and national register. Of the 427 inscriptions on the international register, 99 are from Asia Pacific, while the memory of the World Committee for Asia and the Pacific regional register now has 56 inscriptions. The regional register is a key tool to help raise awareness about the importance of preserving and providing access to documentary heritage, as it provides a gateway to the international register. This is MOCAP's website. We have a, a searchable database of all MOCAP inscription from the Asia Pacific region using the open source Omeka software platform. You can search by keyword repository country or via interactive map. This database is a useful way of sharing with the public the important collections of the region and raising awareness about them. MOCAP has worked with the UNESCO office in Bangkok to develop two publications focusing on inscriptions from the regional register and inscription from the Asia Pacific region on the international register. It can be accessed for free online via MOCAP website. Result of the MOCAP ACC Small Grant Program 2018 to 2020, MOCAP and Asia Culture Center have also collaborated to create a publication that highlights in many interesting projects undertaken under ACC MOCAP Small Grant Program from 2018 to 2020. ACC MOCAP Small Grant Program is another facet of MOCAP's strategic partnership with Asia Culture Center. Over the past years, MOCAP has partnered with the ACC to support 28 innovative projects in 13 countries among uh, aiming to project the pro, uh, documentary heritage of the Asia Pacific region. So far over 100,000 US dollars have been awarded as a part of the program. The project aims to safeguard and share the precious recorded memories that are at risk of the damages, including films, documentaries containing the unique culture and identity of our reason. The publication we have put together with ICC aimed to create a 
snapshot of their important work completed under the various projects and highlight the importance of preserving these cultural records in the Asia Pacific. I will talk further about the small grant program in a bit, but I would like to say this important this, and at this point, that MOCAP is a deeply grateful to everyone at the ACC and Asia Culture Center Institute for their endless support during the past uh, years for the successful ACC MOCAP small grant program. We look forward to further strengthening our partnership in the future. MOCAP also range a variety of workshops to support its activities. As one example, we have a supporting training workshop as a part of efforts to help establishing a National Memory World Committee in Tuvalu, a small island at a risk from the climate change in the Pacific. In addition to the training workshop in Tuvalu, we provide funds for delegates from Tuvalu to join the MOCAP general meeting. These kind of efforts produced a tangible result as shown by the fact that in 2018, the foundation documents of Tuvalu were inscribed on the regional W register, a significant milestone for country's documentary heritage preservation. In 2017 and 2018, workshop were also held in Myanmar on establishing a national MOW committee and register. We are also actively in arranging larger scale conference. In November 2019, a second inter-regional conference for the Memory Wood was held in Gwangju and Daegu in the Republic of Korea on the subject of preserving and providing access to digital heritage through the UNESCO recommendation on documentary heritage. Topics include the digital strategy for information sustainability persist initiative. The UNESCO persist guidelines for the selection of digital heritage for long-term preservation the UNESCO Software Heritage Initiative and Executive Guide, Guide on the Digital Preservation developed by the Digital Preservation Coalition in cooperation with the PASIST and more. Delegates from the various Memory World National Committees from the ESA Pacific region and international experts on digital heritage took part in the conference. Now I will speak a bit more about the ACC MOCAP Small Grant Program. This program is made possible through the generous fi financial support of the Asia Culture Center, who provide over uh, 50,000 US dollars for 2021 cycle alone. We received uh, 26 applications for the 2021 cycle and 12 organizations from the nine countries in the Asia Pacific region were awarded grants. The large number of highly qualified high quality applications we received every year demonstrate a, bro a broad range of work being done in our region to preserve and share our documentary heritage. We are very grateful to everyone who has shown interest in the programs and submitted the application and I would like to offer my congratulations uh, to this year's successful institutions. MOCAM in encourages application for the next funding round, which will open in early 2022. I, I would like to now to give 
some example of the recipients of this year's grants. In Cambodia, the Tuoslang Genocide Museum received a grant for the research and publication of 20 life stories from among the victims of a security prison 21. The main interrogation, tortures, and extermination site of the Khmer Rouge regime. The Tuoslang Genocide Museum, which chronicles the Cambodian uh, genocide is located in Phnom Penh on the site of former secondary school that was used as a security prison 21 by the Khmer Rouge regime from 1975 until its fall in 1979. The Tuoslang Genocide Museum archives were inscribed on the Memory World Melkep Regional Register in 2008 and on the International Register 2009. The Australian Academy of Science received a grant for the Fenner Collection Digitization and Digital Access Project. The manuscript collection of the Professor Frank Fenner in the archives of the Australian Archi Academy of Science covers the life and work of a distinguished Australian scientist and was added to the UNESCO Australian Memory World Register in 2019. The collection records of Professor Fanner's uh, enormous contribution to scientific research and communication over more than eight decades. It is also an unexpectedly rich personal archive documenting Professor Fanner's experience of his work, his broad-ranging intellectual interest, the history and development of Austrian National University, and his contribution to the broader community. The grant will be used to digitize and enable digital access to select material from the Australian Academy of Science archives. The resulting digital resources will increase the research and relevance of the globally significant records from a local to an international research audience. Finally, I'd like to end my presentation by offering some reasons why the role of a regional committee in MRW program is also important to the functioning of the program. Regional committees are important framework for the coordination of the preservation and access to documentary heritage. Regional committee can help in the formulation, uh, formation of new national MOW committees through training, monitoring, and identifying funding support. Regional committees provide a forum for national MOW committees to collaborate, network, gain new ideas, and develop initiatives and projects initi initiated at the regional level to help to increase cooperation between the national MOW committees. In, this, in that respect, we greatly look forward to continuing its uh, cooperation with other regional committees and MOW national committees. Thank you very much for listening.